All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Local Storage by Building a To-Do App, Step 53. All right. So if the user attempts to edit a task but decides not to make any changes before closing the form, there's no need to display the modal with the cancel and discard buttons. Very true. All right. So inside the close task form button event listener, we're going to use const to create another variable named form input values updated. We're going to check if the user made changes while trying to edit a task by verifying, pardon me, verifying that the title input value is not equal to current task.title or the date input is not equal to current task.date or the description input value is not equal to current task.description. All right. So, oh, oh, let's do that. So we'll start by saying const and we're gonna do form input values updated, right? So all we gotta do is check if these do not equal that, all right? So let's come up here because we did already make the title input stuff right here at 71. So let's uh, take from 71 to the end of 73, copy that, bring it down here, drop it off after the equal sign. All right. And so now we're going to come over here where these uh, right before the semicolons on uh, current task dot title was we'll press delete space pipe pipe space delete 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 end backspace no end end backspace yeah whatever anyway in backspace space pipe pipe space delete 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 end backspace all right and so now we've got these not operators. we're going to have to make these not operators because they're not equal so let's start off in front of each one of these equal signs well actually just in the front of the first one let's put uh not operator equals let's highlight this all right and then let's uh go over to this one this second equals paste that it's third equals let's paste that Right, so that should work. All three of these are checking to see if they're not equal. Let's uh, cap it off with a semicolon. Check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 54. And we'll see you next time.